Hello everyone, it's Jared Moore back again with another YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add comments to a Power Automate desktop flow. There is a little bit of, uh, of a process or a workaround that you need to do in order to do this right now because you're not able to add comments to your current flow steps the way that Power Automate desktop is set up. So there is a, another way around that to where if you do have a step and you wanted to leave a audit trail search, so to speak, that uh, would help explain others that may be picking up on your Power Automate desktop flow or taking over a flow for you. This is a good way to walk that user through the code to inform them how things are set up and the flow and how it processes. So without further ado, let's hop on over to Power Automate Desktop. Now that I have Power Automate Desktop, this is an example of where I've commented on some of the steps throughout the, uh, the process during this flow to help either explain to a, another potential user in the flow or myself, because as we scroll through this flow, just because of the way that I was using this through QuickBooks online is I use a lot of send mouse clicks and it uses the X and Y axis on the actual screen. But even myself, if I go back in here, I don't know which, you know, step or anything that this is actually doing unless you add some sort of comments to your code. But if you it open up the send mouse click step here, there's nowhere within this step right here to actually add a comment or a code like we can in Power BI uh, desktop where we can actually, you know, add the, the uh, comments in our, in our code and our DAX or in Power Query. We can add those comments to help explain our measures or what we're doing inside of the query editor. But inside Power Automate Desktop, currently that is not a possible, that is not possible within current steps. But as you see here, each one of these, like step five, step eight, 11, and 16, these are the only ones I'll just show for right now, but these are ones that help explain the previous step. So this would help explain to me, oh, okay, this mouse click right here, what I did was is just opened up a comment and just typed in step four equals click on sign in button. At least that way I know that when I, what this mouse click does, cause there's not really a whole lot of explanation of what this mouse click does without having some sort of, um, comment added to it. And I just stumbled upon this a while back, but, uh, they, they've definitely expanded here recently. The, the, the possible things that are, um, that are available for us to do within Power Automate Desktop. And what's great about Power Automate Desktop is a lot of the things that you'll see in here can also be done in Power Automate online. And there is no kind of right or wrong answer on which program that you're using. Uh, it's more of an art than it is a science. Let me just say that. But, uh, but what I did was is, um, if you wanted to, you could just type in comment. And comment shows up under the flow control. So what I'll do, I'll just delete that for right now. Let me just delete the whole word. And we'll go back here to flow control and open up this menu right here. And you can see the top one is a comment. Um, you have all this other different things that you can add to your flow if you wanted to. But uh, all, all I did was is, is just double click on comment. And then this screen would appear, but it would be blank, obviously. And then this is where you would add your comment in to help explain some of the, uh, some of the steps that you have throughout your flow. Well, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps you in your future flows or maybe to help improve some of your existing flows to help comment and, uh, help explain the steps throughout the process to not only yourself but to future users that may use this flow. Once again, 
Thanks for attending. And I hope to see you on another session. And if you ever have any suggestions for simple flows for me to do in any future YouTube video, please enter those in the comments section below and we'll make sure that we get to those in the near future. Thanks again. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.